Hello gamers, this is Flaming Gamer 7 and welcome back to another episode of Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Today we're going to be hopping right into this little darkness battle we encountered at the end of the last episode. Oh, I think this is going to be a battle where we're required to have certain characters in it because we're starting out with a Rabbit Peach little dialogue here and we did, last time we did that we were required to have like Peach and Rabbit Mario in a fight. So I think this might be the same thing just with two different characters. The lighting here is trash. How would I handle this while you guys do whatever it is people do in a library? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Reverend Rosalina. This library is a gateway to learning that should be a safe place for everyone. Except darkness tentacles, of course. <laughs> yes, I have to come with you now. Oh my gosh. I like how they both just have the silliest excuses to fight this darkness tentacle. That's amazing. I also, last episode, I accidentally called Rabbit Peach Rabbit Rosalina's sister, and I think that was funny, and I might keep doing that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just like something about that. So, definitely healing our team. Just gonna start out with that now. Um, we need to destroy eight Dark Messiahs. It's only, we've only got two characters on our team. That's a little worrying. Oh, oh, this is actually a little worrying. Last time it was Peach and Rab and Mario, two big powerhouses. But now it's Rabbit Peach and Rosalina, and they aren't exactly bad. They're great, actually, both of them. They just aren't overpowered as crap. Okay, so Sea, sea Stooges, weak to shock. And the squashers are weak to ooze, so we're gonna want to watch. We're gonna want to want shock and ooze. I mean, I don't have any particular strategy. It's not like we can. It's not like we can really change what characters we're using, which is usually what like the main stre strategy movements are. <laughs> so we're gonna give Electroid to you. Electro Dash is gonna go up here, and Exosphere is gonna go to Rabbit Peach. I think that's pretty good. Let's check out our. S yeah, we can do Rabbit Rosalina's skill tree. We'll do that in a sec. First, we're gonna check out Rabbit Peaches. Um, you know something I haven't actually checked is every character's Spark Branch dip. Why doesn't she have any Gold Prisms? Are Gold Prisms different in that each? When you have one gold prism, it's just one period, not one for each character. Spending gold for this kind of skills. It does not tell you about that. It does not. It never told me that I could only use one. Okay, well I guess Rabbit Mario is going to be the only one with a spark branch for a while. Let's see what we can do. Emergency heal is four. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, life trade. Yeah, I haven't. I didn't find that very useful either when we had it. Critical hit chance. I do not have much of a desire to up upgrade that. Healing jump up could be good, but obviously we have to sacrifice something for it. Actually, I kind of want an extra dash. I really like the idea of an extra dash. Because especially for this battle... Yeah, emergency heal I don't think is that useful. We're giving her extra dash. Ah, Rachel ran in front of me. Hi, Rachel. And what can we do with two points? Heal cooldown? I would not mind that. Heal range? At least for this battle, I don't find that very necessary. I think that's good. And I don't know why I went over the sparks. We've already done sparks. Ooh, this is something exciting whenever we unlock a new character. We get to customize their skill tree. So she's got the same HP things as everyone else. She's got glide boost, movement range, dash damage. That's good. Anyway, dash. For everyone whose dash will also apply anyway to the opponent. Ha! <laughs> no kidding, we're getting that. I can't. Oh, the thing is, she can only ever do one dash. There's no way of giving her more dashes. Weapon range, critical hit chance, extra ammo, that's good. Heat up. Each consecutive projectile does 5% more damage. I like that. I like that a lot. NUI cooldown. Lowering that could be good for harder battles. Upping its range and duration. The effect... No, I'm trying to read. The effect of Rabbit, Rosalina's, Rabbit Rosalina's NUI will last longer on enemies. That could be good for specific situations. I think any anyway, cooldown and duration is really good for specific situations, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Wake up slap. Plus 30% damage boost against target and stays. 
That's, we're taking that. Oh, you bet we're taking that. Um, and then we still have eight points, and nothing that's, not much that's really stood out to me. Let's grab that. Actually, no, these kind of stood out. That, press the wrong button. Um, movement range up. Dash damage up. And give her more dash damage up. We could definitely give her, like, one really good dash. I think this is really good. I really like this. Uh, poor Rabbit Luigi still hasn't had the skill tree customized. Oh, I promise I'll do it one day. Also, does anyone have... I feel like... I think we've already checked weapon skins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't gotten any new weapon skins since last time we checked them. And now, with our usual 5 to 10 minutes of menu squandering out of the way... Oh, hi, Rachel's back. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> she just keeps running around. Oh my gosh, we can't even... At, at the... The best we could possibly do is four turns. That hurts. No, wait, actually, I was saying the best we can do is four turns because we each have one shot and we can only defeat these things five shots. But actually, we do have ooze. Oh, I should have gotten the fireball thing with Rabid Peach, or why Rabid Peach specifically? I should have just gotten somebody to have the fireball thing because that would have been good. Um, wish I had thought of that, but it is what it is. I feel like I could do something good down here. I'm gonna... Oh, Rachel ran in front of me. Again. Maybe? She's just kind of running in circles. I don't know what she's doing. I love her. Actually, I'm not gonna have Rabbit Peach follow Rose, Rabbit Rosalina. Rachel ran in front of me again. Hi, Rachel. I love you. Can I shoot that... Uh, I really want to be able to shoot, like, the far eyeball over there. You probably don't know which one I'm talking about. Actually, no. I was trying to hit all three of them, but I can't because this one's up. So we're going to shoot it like that, and we're going to get the two on the floor with Toxic Wake. Because Toxic Wake can only hit enemies on the same level as you. Okay, Rachel wants out. Bye, Rachel. I love you. And then we're going to activate the shot. Okay, that's actually really good. Forget, forget everything I said about the whole four-turn crap. I definitely go down here. I think this is Electro Dash, right? It is. 317 damage dash. Oh my gosh. That, that was not 317. That was way more. Oh, that's so close to defeating him. I don't want to use a whole freaking dash on him. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that for so little damage when my dashes are so supercharged. No, I did not mean to switch characters there. If you hear someone yelling about football, it's because there's someone yelling about football. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna dash this guy. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go for that one. Okay, all we could do now is absolutely nothing. Yep! <laughs> Hi. You're not gonna be able to hit me. Dude, stooges are stupid. They are so stupid. I get that that's like the whole point, but gosh, they're- Oh, hi. It's really bad. Um, oh crap. Okay. Then, rabbit, putting Rabbit Rosalina over there actually does not seem to have been a good idea. Dead? I might not want to dash you. Probably will, but I'm gonna see where I can move first. If we go over here, I don't think we can reach Rabbit Rosalina. No. What if we... No, I don't think going through this pipe will make things any different. Okay, oh! Oh my gosh, we're so close. We're so close! Dude! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna scream! Okay, I think Rabbit, Ro Rabbit Rosalina's just not doing anything this turn as much as I hate to say that. Uh, what are we doing with Rabbit Peach? 
She's just running around to all these different eyeballs. Hmm, kinda wanna take out... No, 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 I should focus on the Sea Stooges. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go around here and hide. I'm just gonna shoot the one right here. It did indeed hold still. It was very useful to tell it that. Rabid Peach. Should I heal? I'm not gonna heal or fortify. A little bit of a crazy play there, but we'll probably be fine. Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Hi. All right, it's not awful. How many eyes do we have left? I think four? Three actually, only three left. We can't do it this turn. Ah, oh, I really wish we could. I mean, I could use a reset timer to reset cooldowns and then use Toxic Quake. That is an option. Also, we have an NUI dash. So, we we can't just willy-nilly dash anyone with Rabid Rosalina. Because, like, this is a very valuable dash. Hmm. Where's Rabid Peach? Oh, yeah, no, we can end it this turn if we use a reset clock. I'm down for doing that. And then... Pew! 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 That's that one gone. Items use an action point. Items use an action point, don't they? Uh, maybe I could- I don't think I could have lined that up so that I could have taken them both out with Toxic Lake. So, that was just a waste of a reset cooldown, because I could have done that with my weapon anyway. I guess now I do have the opportunity to move her somewhere. I'm gonna NUI you, but both of you. Oh, that's so good. Jesus, that's overpowered. Um, actually, if I dash them both like this, I think they will be taken out. But I'm going to save my dashes for the squasher down there. Because they're already stasis, so they're not a problem. And we're winning next battle anyway. Um, I want to... That one. I think we're fine. I mean, honestly, I probably could have put Rabid Rosalina in a better position. And I can still move her. Oh, what kind of enemies are around? Oh, no, actually, it looks like we're good. There's less enemies than I thought they were. Than I thought there were. The only ones that are close to us are either stasis or dead. So, just end the turn. I think we're pretty much good. Okay, I did not notice that guy. He is going to be hitting us. Hi. Okay, I underestimated those two. Uh, it's fine though, because we can just, um, where's the last one? Right here! Hello! Are we done? There we go, battle cleared! Could have done that a little bit cleaner at the end there, but I think it works. Do we get skill prisms? Ooh, we got a steampunk triple troll! Interesting! Also, because I did like a pre-order thing, wasn't I supposed to get some kind of bonus? Actually, that's probably because... Well, I'm not gonna close. I've The software has only been closed once ever since I first opened it, and that was just because the game crashed. <laughs> that's the only time I've ever closed this game. Steampunk Triple Troll obtained. Honestly, I like the pink one. I don't think I'm gonna go with the Steampunk one, although I will check it out when I can. We got a Rabbit Peach Memory. Yeah, I've thought about it. I do think it'd be really fun for the final episode of this series, how, <laughs> whenever that happens to be just checking out all the memories. I definitely would rather do that. It'd be, like, really fun, I think. Anyway, um, as you can probably guess, this episode is going to be about Pristine Peak's side quests. That was one of them. Are there any inside of the palace that we want to do? Um, what's that? Is that just the pipe? Uh, oh, wait, that's just our quest. Uh, ooh, there's one all the way over there. Can I? I don't think I, I can work there. Yeah, 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 the flex, flex. Come on, I can do this. There we go. That should be the last thing we have to do inside this palace. How many side quests have we done in the palace? I don't think there's been many. 
There were so many side quests inside the the um, dungeon thing in the last planet that I expected there to be a lot of side quests here, but there's really not. Anyway, where exactly is the quest that we're supposed to do? I kind of thought it was over here, but I'm screaming at the wall and nothing's happening. Am I at the wrong side? No, I'm at, I'm at the right spot. It's like right there, like right behind Mr. 99 uh, plus tax. Well, continuously screaming isn't getting us anywhere. Or is it? Maybe we just need to scream even louder and even harder. Maybe this guy has something. Let me check what the name of the quest is. Tiny Dancer. Can I, like, check the info of the quest or anything? I pinned it. Oh, wait, yeah, duh, I can go here. Uh, this is Secret Stone, Flame of Stooge Hunt, Riddle of Pristine Peaks, Midwinter Gateway. Oh, yeah, that's Brostrella. So it's not listing the quest on the list. Oh my gosh, we've only done a fourth of them. We're gonna be here for a good few episodes. I wonder if there's gonna be a really hard one like that giant Goomba thing that we'll have to come back to later. What does pinning it even do? Maybe it pins it like... Yeah, on our map in the top left that apparently we have. It should be right through here. What if I spin? Bonking into it doesn't work either. Almost there. Oh, wait, I'm the stupidest human being on the entire planet. I am the stupidest human being on the entire planet. There's a second floor, guys. There's a second floor. You've just got to go up here and do it. Ooh. This might be the, the fight similar to the giant Goomba I was just talking about. We need five more sparks. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back here and do that. Because we we did the giant Goomba in... Oh, come on. You guys can jump over that. We did the giant Goomba in the previous planet. And we could only do that after getting some sparks from Pristine Peaks. So, like, we absolutely... Even after doing all the side quests in Pristine Peaks, we're not going to have enough sparks for that. So we're going to have to come back to that gigantic fight. Unfortunately, I was really excited for it. But, it just means we can do it later. Now, I want to make, like, totally sure here that I pressed the wrong button. You, I need to unpin you. I don't even know what pinning you is done, but I feel like it's messing with something. I'm going to, like, zoom in. I guess I can't zoom in on that. Uh, it's just a door I know. I know it's a pipe. Uh, I don't think there's anything left in here. We'll just have to come back once we have 19 flippin' sparks. Oh my gosh, there's five more. Yeah, there's no way we're getting five more sparks. Like, two or three at the absolute most, I think. So, I say we can start looking at our map later when we need to. But for now, let's just look around and see what we can find. Oh, spinning. Because I think exploring around is much more funner than using a map. Like, that's just, that's a thing about me in video games. I don't like looking at maps unless I have to. I know we do have the Flame Stooge Hunt quest. What is this? It's a rectangle. But I'm not going to worry about that until later. Yeah, that's the Flame Stooge guy. There's the square. I'm not sure what we need these things for. What can we find up here? Oh, this guy looks like he's got something for us. I can't finish this igloo without blocks of ice that are the perfect shape. See any around? Um, is this one? That was a really big ice block. Well, then I guess we're just going to keep looking for ice blocks as we're running about. There's a hair on the screen! Ah! No! I really need to, like, start cleaning my switch off at the beginning of every episode. Because sometimes it's just little specks of stuff. There we go. This is quality content. What's down here? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no! Oh, my gosh. Their dash is, like, they can dash at you from so far away. Which, to be fair, so can we. So, I guess that makes it pretty fair. Now, I'm not gonna try speedrunning these battles. Like, I have been a lot with, the like, the world map battles. That are ooh, we need to defeat lone wolves. Lone really? Even though a flaming stooge is the one that dashed us, it's kind of weird. Oh, we only need to defeat two though. Oh, I want to do something fun with this. 
I really want to do something fun with this. What I'm thinking we can do, we can grab Rabbit Mario, switch him out, and whoever the other two are, it does not even matter. Although, I, do we have the turbo? As long as we have turbo charge, I think we're good. And yeah, yeah, I remember Rabbit Peach's turbo charge. She doesn't have turbo charge. <laughs> it's okay though, it's okay though, it's okay though, it's okay though. You guys probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. I'm gonna get Rabbit Mario up here. Lone Wolves are right here. Uh, I'm gonna get a dash in on this one because I can, although I don't really need to, let's be real. I wanna, yep, yep, I can attack multiple. And it's probably gonna take them both out. It definitely will if I activate Gust Attack. Oh my gosh. Let's just, yep. Dude. Rabbit Mario's OP. That's not fair. I almost feel bad for them. Almost. I don't actually, though. Also, okay, for a second there, I thought part of the uh, switch was being cut off. However, it's really close to being cut off, so I am going to recenter that. I was, kind of, I was like really like ambitious with how, like how I just how I like set up the camera today. I was like, I can I can fit in a bunch of the switch. I can you I'll I'll cut it close, but yeah, it resulted in the bottom part of the screen nearly being cut off. I'm very sorry about that. I know that that is not fun to watch. Ooh, I don't actually think we've gotten these coins before. Now we have. So now we're just gonna take this tiny little block of ice and bonk, and then boom. All right, we need two more according to the left there. Uh, what if this has one? Does not. Did not mean to scream. There's one. What do you have to say? I need to save the day. Glad I didn't shoot myself out of a cannon. <laughs> I feel like we've already read what he said, but it's still pretty funny. You know, I, a couple of weeks ago, I watched a guy get shot out of a cannon. It was super fun, actually. I don't know what I expected, but it was pretty cool. Thanks for evicting those monsters from the Winter Palace. Can't wait to do a tour. All right, over here? I really thought it'd be over here. Well, then where is it? It's definitely somewhere in this area. I'm not gonna like go, okay, maybe I'll go up here a little bit, but only a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna go up that ladder. Coins, I'll take those. Coins are pretty cool. I like money. Hmm, it's probably hiding somewhere over here. No, this is a square thing that's totally unrelated. I think I already got one over here. Although, I can look at this. Totally understood everything Beepo just said. Uh, maybe it's up here. I think there's a decent possibility of it being over here. I don't think I see it. Is it down there? It does not look like it. Well, I'm not entirely sure. I, I thought that was a spinny thing. I'm dumb. I'm not entirely sure what it could be in that case. Definitely not over here, I think. I am not sure. I think I'm just going to head out for now. No, no, no. I'll just... I'll keep looking for it. I'll just take a bit of a cut and let you guys know when I find it. May have gotten into a battle with the Flame Stooge. Flame in Stooge. I gotta call them the correct name. They're Flame Stooge, not Flame. They're Flame in Stooges. Flame in Stooges. Okay, this one we're doing sub minute because I feel like it. I just sometimes I just feel like doing battle sub minute. You know, I am gonna press the wrong button, and I'm gonna let myself look around a little bit first. It's just a few guys over there. I can handle that. Here we go. Timer has been started. We don't even have turbo charge. This is gonna go awfully. I don't even have turbo charge. <laughs> this is not happening. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe it is. Want to get Rabid Mario to an air? Ooh, wait. I didn't even realize that there were. I didn't even realize there were multiple layers, like vertically. That somehow works. Um, where the fudge is the other guy? I'm trying to think through what to do. Oh wait, we can just go through here and get to the other guy. 
That's pretty cool. It's pretty wacky. Pretty nifty. I think. Where's the other guy? He's over there. I don't have enough range to reach him. Okay, this isn't happening sub minute. We're already at 55 seconds. Yeah, yeah. I want to like actually think through what to do here. I would have funner doing that than by being an idiot. Okay, something I can do. I can have Rabbit Peach go through this pipe. She'll go all the way over here. Team jump. And then land. And then get in dash one, dash two, dash three, and then shoot him right in the midair. I like how I said in the midair. That made so much sense. <laughs> and then we'll bring Rabbit Rosalina over here. Rabbit Rosalina should have done this a little bit differently. I'm bad. Um. I think all we can do is A, cry about it, B, activate NUI, because I don't really want him running around, I just want to punch him next turn. No, 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 I'll give Rabbit Rosalina a chance to shine. I'll let her attack him. Although, actually, this thing does destroy cover. Yeah, yeah, wait, I didn't think about that. I probably could have done that, and then if I had activated Electroid, oh, I should have activated Electroid. I could have done it on that turn, and I just destroyed the stasis, I just realized. So, I've actually played the worst Mario and Rabbids of my life. Uh, yes, I would like to pass the turn. Hi, friend. That did not go very bad, actually. Now, something I should be doing in the beginning of every battle. How much health does Rabbid Mario have? Dude, Rabbid Mario's so OP. His range is, like, a little bit of a downside, but, like... Emphasis on a little bit. It's not that much of a downside. He is like absolutely OP Boom <laughs> Didn't take that long grabbing Rosalina <laughs> She's so enthusiastic <laughs> you can just feel the enthusiasm Radiating off of her at least she gets enthusiastic about books. I mean she wanted to save the library I thought that was pretty sweet libraries are awesome. Oh, and that, yeah, actually, I activated that battle on purpose for the Flame and Stooge Hunt quest. Hello. I wonder how many of these breakable, breakable walls I'm going to miss. Got to squash her memory. Anyway, I, I remember earlier when I said there was a ladder I didn't think I need to go up. Well, guess what? I went up the ladder. I'm not, I don't want to go too far. But, like, maybe it's up here because I can't find it anywhere down there. Like, well, it's so obviously not up there, because, I mean, maybe it is, but I can't go up there this way. Because, like, I'm looking for this ice block. Yeah, over here is where I fought the Flame Stooge. Thought it might have been in that corner. Wait. Hello? We gotten you already? We have gotten you already. Was that the breakable wall we just broke? Was that the one we just got? Have I... Oh, my brain isn't... It's not working. My brain isn't braining is a copyrighted uh, Melons of Blue quote. I am not allowed to say it without paying royalties, and I really don't want to pay royalties. That's glowing. Uh, yeah, look at me. Oh my gosh. I'm so good at this game. I knew I had to go up there. I knew it. I'm so smart. I just, I absolutely knew it. And then we can finish up this igloo. Get awarded a planet coin. And a little thing there. Oh wait, actually, this is a new quest? The igloo's finished thanks to you. Now if I can just figure out a way inside. Igloo breakthrough, planet coin awarded. Um, okay, I thought there would be a second step to that quest. I guess not. I think that was a little weirdly worded, or maybe I'm just stupid. I'm not sure. We're gonna keep working our way backwards, doing more side quests. And on that journey, which one is next? That's the Flame and Stooge guy. We've already done that one. Uh, I think that's the riddle thing. Maybe it's Washtrella. Where's Washtrella? I kind of want to do that this episode. Uh, there it is. So I'm just going to teleport over here. And you know what? Let's just do Washtrella. I want to get that creep out of the way, to be honest. Dude, something I'm thinking about. When we unlock Bowser and we're just all running around like this. Like... Dude, he's gonna be so- he's gonna stand out so much. Just trotting- trotting around just do, 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 do. Just with his arms out. He's gonna look terrifying. And then just gonna be two tiny rabbits and or humans behind him. <laughs> and also something I- I was talking about, like, how excited I am to unlock Bowser with my dad the other day. Because I talked to him about Mario games and stuff because he likes Mario games because he's a man of culture. 
And I the idea occurred to me during that conversation, what if Bowser can't team jump off people because he's so massive? Like, do you see any of the... Okay, well, Rabbit Mario could. But do you see Rabbit Peach or Rosalina lifting Bowser into the sky? I don't think so. Also, something that's just now occurred to me. What if Bowser's, like... Big? Well, obviously he's- <laughs> I'm about to say, what if Bowser is bigger than the other two? No kidding, he's bigger than- not other two? No. I'm gonna slow down for a second. What- Bowser's obviously bigger than the other, like, characters. But, like, does that mean he can't move through certain sized spaces? Like, on the map? Like, let's say you- like, if there's two brick block covers, and then a, a empty space- in between them and like everyone else can move through that empty space but bowser can't i, I that would make sense because he's bigger i usually want a combat ex expedition in the, the, the in dimension in dimensional drift i'm not legally responsible for outcome ah <sighs> you know i have to i don't want to but you know i have to you know when i was coming up with thumbnail ideas for episode six that was the one where we explored P Beacon Beach after we freed it. Uh, one of the thumbnails, I one of the thumbnail ideas was Madame Boistrella, but then I made the thumbnail and it was terrifying. I didn't even finish making it. Usually, I come up with a few ideas for the thumbnails. I fully like make them, and then I decide which one I like more. But I didn't even finish making the Ma Madame Boistrella one because I just did not want to. Okay, defeat all twenty. Okay, that's what it was last time, and that's what it is this time. What are you- Okay, you're just a squasher. I couldn't tell because his little face was hidden inside the wall. Looks like it's just a bunch of squashers and sea stooges scattered about with one lone wolf. Alright, I don't think we- I don't think we need to think about this one too hard. Let's bring in a versatile team. Um, I, I like the idea of having Luigi. But I also like the idea of having a heal- I don't know! I feel like a healer has become less necessary as time goes on. Which is kind of sad, because I love Rabbit Peach. Her personality is one of my favorites. I mean, to be fair, everyone's personality is one of my favorites. Or at least the rabbit's personality. Like, I'm used to Mario, Peach, Luigi. I love them, but I'm used to them. Rabbit Rosalina, Rabbit Peach, Rabbit Luigi, and Rabbit Mario, and Edge, they bring something new to the table. And it's, I love it. Every time Rabbit Rosalina sighs, or Peach is like, hashtag healing journey, it's just so funny and so refreshing. And I, I love it. But it is, I do kind of like that a healer's become less necessary. Because it means we can actually experiment with, like, Peach, Rabbit Luigi, Mario. I love Mario. Mario's, I did not mean to do that. It's so fun to play as Mario. I think we're going to get Mario on our team. I think. Uh, should we get someone else? Maybe, maybe I should get Rabbit Luigi just so I have an excuse to upgrade his skill tree. But, nah, nah, nah. We'll wait till next time we use Ra Rabbit Luigi in a battle to upgrade his skill tree. And Peach? Do I want Peach or Mario? I feel like I use Mario more than I use Peach. I don't really have a preference, so let's just go with Peach because we don't use Peach often. Let's go to Sparks. Let's just equip some overall, all-around good Sparks. We'll get Toxic Wake on you. Who has the best dashes? Um, actually, we are... I, I was about to go to the skill tree and see what I can upgrade. This... Uh, do I want to give Rabbit Mario absolute insane dashes? I might want to do that now. Spark Gift is cool, but I don't know. I wonder if everyone's Spark skill trees are different, by the way. I'm very curious to find that out one day. Counter I don't use Counter Blow that often, to be honest. I, I, should, I could definitely do a lot more with it if I tried. I like I like having all of this. I like weapon damage and critical hit chance. Those are definitely good, but punch frenzy and no limits. Those are what I really want, and they're linked to these two. So I I really want like all of this unlocked. I think let's go with area dash. An extra dash would be nice, but we can't get it and area dash. Area dash range increase could be interesting. It's also nice that friendly fire isn't a thing in this game. Because it makes things like rain, like area dash, I mean, a lot better. <sighs> I really want to get us an extra dash, but that's not happening. Because I want to keep all of this stuff in the weapon category. And now we can go to Sparks, and we can grab Electro Dash. We can equip you there. And then Gust. I'll give Luigi Gust. I'll give Luigi Exosphere. 
and Starburst can go on Princess Peach. Maybe I should give Peach Exosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like, yeah, Luigi is like all usually going to be more in the center of things. I mean, you kind of have to be in the center of things to use Turbo Charge and affect everyone as well. I don't think it matters that much which one is on which. That's looking pretty good to me. Uh, I think we're... No, no, no. I do want to go to Luigi and Peach's skill tree. Luigi... I mean, not Luigi. Peach has a bunch of interesting, th interesting things on her skill tree. Uh, Fighting Spirit is definitely an interesting one, but we need to get Wider Shot first, and I actually kind of do want to get that. I mean, that sounds like a bad thing, but no, I actually really want it. I want all that stuff. Team Barrier Discharge. Produce an explosion once Team Barrier is destroyed? That, that could actually be really good. Because Peach needs to get up close. I mean, we already have it, obviously. But Peach needs to get up close to fire. And then she can use Team Barrier to keep herself safe while she's doing that. And then when Team Barrier explodes, because we're already up close, we do extra damage. But I don't know. Because enemies are usually going to run away before shooting us. But in this battle specifically, there's a lot of squashers. So it could come in handy. So I think I'll keep that. Um, there... I, I, what am I doing? I want wider shot, and I kind of, I kind of want fighting spirit. I, actually, do I though? I think I want these two more. Fighting spirit would be good in the future though. I, movement range. I don't think that's like vital that we have movement range or glide boost. I think two weapon damage ups. That could be really good. And then I really like having the extra dash. Having an extra dash. But we could get three points. I think I'd rather have the damage drop off thing, to be honest. Yep. And then... Oh, let's get Glide Boost back. Having Glide Boost is actually really good. Although... Team Barrier Range. Uh, I don't really ever find myself needing that. I think we're good there. And then Luigi... Uh, ghost bullet we need extra silly stair charge. I really like having still, still cooldown can be good. I like upping the damage uh, If we we've already got weapon range, which is good if you hear someone yelling about football It's because there's someone yelling about football <laughs> um, If we get critical hit damage, we could get damage drop off or high ground I don't know if I really want high ground like part of me wants it But the rest of me really doesn't want it team jump extra dash again really specific, but could be useful I don't know. It's not like his, he's got. It's not like he's got really powerful dashes or anything. So as cool as that sounds for Luigi specifically, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't think it'd be amazing. Uh, landing range could be. We already have that though. Extra team jump. Extra team jump. We need. I freaking love that. I kind of want to get some damage drop off, which involves getting this, and then this. And then movement range. Do we do we want to refund movement range in exchange for damage drop off? I can't. Uh, actually, I kind of want extra steely steer charge. Mm. If I refund landing range and movement range, I still don't have enough to get an extra steely steer charge. So we're not going to worry about that. Um, I think just don't overthink it and just stick with what we have. I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And we already have our sparks, right? We've got both oozes. We don't actually have both electric guys. I definitely feel like we should have electric guy on... Ye no, 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 no. Electric guy here. There we go. I think that could be really good. Although, actually, something I want to do. <laughs> I kind of want to up Luigi's range even more. Weapon range. It's only two. It's only two points for that. So we just have to run refund this. And then movement range, I'd rather refund that. And then get weapon range up. I know that was like, I know I said I was done, but then I wasn't done. I really want to just maximize his weapon range. 37 meters instead of 31, that's a huge gain. I think that's amazing. Oh my gosh, with so much time in the freaking menus. Oh my gosh, uh, this is taking forever. We're lo let's actually get into the battle now. Uh, let's try out area dash. Let me like double check that this doesn't. Uh, do friendly fire. It doesn't. Okay, that's good. Area dash doesn't have a lot of range. Oh my gosh, I need to up this thing's range, which I think I'm able to do. Um, I, 
I kind of want to advance turn one into like this area. I think that could be good. So I'm going to get the dash on that guy. Trying to maximize what I can do here. Boom. Oh wait, Peach only has one dash. I thought she had two. I'm stupid. In that case, maybe we should have Rabbit Mario attack before going up here. No, no, no. I don't think so. We should have activated Electric Dash with Rabbit Mario. But no, wait. They're resistant to Electric, actually, so that would have been so stupid. Now, what I really want to do with Rabbit Mario is something like this. Um, and we're going to activate... Not Shock Dash. Shock Attack. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Now, it does mean... Uh, I think we're just going to leave this guy over here. I kind of wanted to have Rabbit Mario attack him and then move into the pipe. Because he's the only one that can move after attacking. But I don't think that's what we're doing. I think we're just going to leave that guy alone over here. Maybe I should have oozed him. I mean, I could still go back and do it, obviously. I mean, when's the next time we come across some smat, some squashers? They're, like, over there. I feel like they're gonna be on us, like, next turn, though, and I really want ooze for that. But I think we're gonna stick with what we've got. We're gonna get Luigi on some high ground for sure. First, I wanna make sure there's nobody I wanna, like, move in a specific way. I mean, hmm. Braining. Brain is, like, 9,000 right now. I really want to take this guy out, but I don't know if we are. I mean, obviously we're not with this. Hmm, I say we teamed up over there. We get Rabbit Mario Team Barrier Charge, can't complain about that. Oh, and we can hit a Smasher. Um, sure, I think we're behind good enough cover. Still not enough, it's right in his face. It is what it is. And we got Luigi up here. We just could snipe him. Snipe you. He got some good snipes in up here. That, like, almost takes him out. That guy has a lot of range. Not range, health. I kind of want to take him out with this insane amount of damage we're doing here. Do I want to activate Aquinox? I think I do want to... Actually, I don't think I want to activate Aquinox, because that'll just be knocking the sniper farther away, which will make him do more damage, which is not what we want. I think we're gonna go for that squasher, because we can. Oh, that didn't take him out? You're joking. Alright, and then we're gonna activate Steely Stare. You can never go wrong with Steely Stare, just use it whenever you can. Especially when you have a huge high ground advantage like this. Not that we actually got the high ground advantage upgrade, maybe I should've. Uh, this would take out the guy right next to me. I do kinda wanna do that. But, I don't know, it does so much damage to the squashers. I feel like it's better there. I'm gonna go without fortifying for now. Haha. Yeah. -ha. Hopefully Luigi doesn't like die here. Or Peach for that matter. Peach could ugh. I might be underestimating this battle. That was a lot of damage. Phil Swift style. Oh gosh, she's dead. Ugh. Oh, she's dead. She's so dead. She's so dead. Alright, I I really should have used or fortify or protection. Okay, I don't think anyone else is being attacked. I've just been watching in stress. What? You can. Okay, you can't hit me from there. You can definitely hit someone. Oh, he did have the team barrier, though. That's what I'm talking about. There's so much pipe and stuff action. Now that he's gonna hit by. Thanks for zooming in on the ground. That was useful. Okay, are we done? Jeez. Thank goodness that didn't hit. I definitely should have attacked the one lone wolf and then you still stare. 
Um, I really want to get Rab and Mario over there. To, like, do a bunch of attacking, but obviously that's not really an option. I kind of still want to... I kind of still want him to, I'm going to be honest. But I also really want to keep Luigi up here. Okay. I see idea... I shall let movements do the talking. And then hop down here. Ah, oh, I really want to get a dash in on that guy, but... Rabbit Mario, I'm already planning for him to take both of these hits anyway. Can I, like, barely get out of range? Can I, like, move right out of range? Oh, he is splashed. That's terrible. I think we just got screwed over by that. I really forgot he had Splash. I hate, I hate the Splash Stooges. Splash is so OP. What kind of range does Counter Blow have? We could probably do something fancy with Counter Blow. No, but we'll just get knocked away again. I think we're just gonna stay back here. I don't think I should do anything fancy this turn. Glad that took him out. I'm just gonna snipe that squasher, probably. Doesn't look like I could, I could hit that 12 health squasher all the way over there. I could take out that. I'm taking out that normal. That's so much damage. Jeez. And then we're probably getting attacked by someone. Let's be real. So we're gonna activate counter blow. Hopefully we don't get knocked away and counter blow doesn't work. I'm really worried that's gonna happen. Now enemy turn. What? Why did you do that? <laughs> I don't like that at all, but at least we can do that. Oh, we're definitely not winning the battle this attempt. Ugh. Oh yeah, no, we're doomed. We're so doomed. And for the record, I am gonna be ending the episode after this attempt, which has pretty much just ended with the loss of Rabbit Mario. Oh, I think we could have definitely done something there, now that we know a little bit more of how this battle works. But, I am going to end the episode here. Usually, I try again, but, like, I kind of have something to do. <laughs> I knew that this episode would be kind of a little bit short. I mean, this is 48 minutes. This isn't really a little short. Oh, yeah, it's just Luigi. Luigi's doomed. Can Luigi win by doing absolutely nothing? No, Luigi's dead. Let's just wrap this up, ladies and gents. I'm just gonna do a little something something for the fun of it, but I know it's obviously not going to actually accomplish anything. Look how many enemies there are. I could go all the way over here in this pipe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Luigi solos. Luigi's actually gonna just solo this battle by doing absolutely nothing. How does he have that much range? This is why I upped his range. <laughs> Look at how far the star had to travel. And this is when we die. Or not? Can I run this back? What? Is he sitting on top of a brick block? I think he was for a second. He's not supposed to do that. Ow. Oh, I think that's it for Luigi. Yep, that's it for Luigi. That's it for real, unless it doesn't hit. We're still in this, though. I'm not sure why the splash didn't affect him. Are we actually going to do this? No, we're not. Or we are? I mean, obviously we're not going to do it, but like we lived another turn. That's, I feel like that alone is saying something. And then, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go all the way over here. Right? We've got this. We're absolutely in this. We pretty much already won, let's be real. Activate Steely Stare. What's like the most damage we can do? We hit someone over there? No, not really. They're all behind a wall. I don't have any good shots here. I'll just go for this one. 
You know what? Let's turn this into a video ends when I end the battle. As soon as I uh, not end, as soon as I lose the battle, the video is going to end. People like those videos, right? I'm gonna make I'm gonna turn this into one of those videos. As soon as I die, the video